I made a mistake today. This hat. I made a mistake, not today, but I made two mistakes. When I bought this hat and choosing to wear this hat, this hat is a seven and five eighths. Okay, that's what I wore. Um, I haven't worn a fitted hat since I was in ninth grade. And uh, I had big, poofy ninth grade emo hair. And that's what fit. I had enough hair to make it fit. And uh, I wear a seven and a half. I'm wearing a seven and five eighths. So please forgive me if my hat dips during the recording of this episode. Taylor, uh, I have a quick question for you, Taylor. How's my nose? <laughs> Does it appear wet? Does it feel? It feels wet. It's not wet? Okay. Hey, I'm guys. Like what's going on? <clears throat> it's your boy, Michael Ridley. Today's date is August 28th. Uh, it's 2 p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. We're here. We're back for another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. And I have Nick V with me at R3. What up? I'm feeling good. We out here. Oh man, it was so funny. What were we doing? What were we doing last night, Nick? <laughs> tell them what we were doing. <laughs> tell, tell, tell the people what we were doing last <laughs> like night. Like on the, the way home. On the shit. way home in the Miata. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. We were. Uh, we saw a lot of homeless people that looked kind of sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Streets were on fire last yeah. night. Yeah, and to be fair, it was just fucking three in the morning. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was their like, bedtime. I'm like, you fucking losers. But yeah, it's the middle of the night. And I'm like, so uh, we thought we thought donuts and a Miata would wake him up. Yeah, and it did. Yeah, yeah. There was nothing like uh, there's like a there's like a bus stop by your house. <laughs> yeah, and we fucking there's a there's a if you guys if you guys are in Austin, you guys might know there's this one Seven Eleven that's just a war zone. Yeah, it is a it's a famous Seven Eleven where the owner plays classical music to keep the homeless off the porch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they he blast classical music. Be really funny if they all got smarter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like when like, a baby, like when yeah. you make a baby listen to classical music. Yeah, like but they're still they're just homeless, but they're like in a suit, swirling. swirling it reminds line. me. Of, that reminds me of the crackhead from a uh, the crackhead from Boondocks. He's like, I'd like to pitch us some crack. <laughs> <laughs> Those crackheads. Is it, we were talking about. We we're on r slash crack. Yeah, we Last did a, we did Mike Eaton's podcast and we were talking about R slash crack smokers. There's like a whole Reddit dedicated to crack smoking individuals who are like sharing tricks of the trade as far as like the best ways to fucking roast the rock and yeah. that shit. Yeah. And they're <laughs> arguing. Like mm-hmm. they're like, nah, that breathing tech shit <laughs> breathing technique is bullshit, bro. You got you a good pipe, you need you a good screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get yeah. you a good pipe, get you a good screen. Yeah. Fucking just Fucking take a straight bell ringer and get a blowjob. Yeah, they bell ringer. That's bell word. ringer. Yeah, 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 that's like their term. It's like when you hit a fat rock, when you take a fat fucking rip off of a crack rock and it it makes your head ring. They call it a bell ringer. It's the the moment. It's like I can only imagine. I've never smoked crack, but I can imagine it's <laughs> like this. Good. Hell yeah, dude. Thank that's you. Good. Uh, I've never smoked crack, but I could imagine. Uh, after you hit it, your ears just feel like a flashbang went off in a one bedroom apartment. Yeah. Just. Yeah, well, when he said it, it made sense to me. Like, yeah. right, right when he said bell ringer, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Yeah. Hoodie's off, dude. We were doing, uh, we were doing burnouts. We were doing burnouts, uh... Whipping shitties, dude, if you're we from doing, where I'm from. We were doing burnouts, dude, in front of the homeless people and waking them up. I don't know, I've been a, I've just become a menace. Ever I've been a menace, dude. I'm gonna ever honest. since the Miata. No, 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 no. Oh, I was already a menace, but then, you know, I chilled out, tried to grow up, and then, uh... Now we had to buy. I bought the Miata again, and now I'm just fucking in it. I'm I'm back in my I'm back in my little menacing bullshit. I'm doing burnouts. I'm doing donuts. Taylor's in the car with me the other day. We had some twisties, and he was like, "Oh shit, Mike's going like 80, and it feels yeah. c- like safe." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the car is just it's so grounded. Yeah, it's just old man spec. Yeah, that's in- independent suspension on all wheels. Just- yeah, fifty fifty weight distribution. What you know about that? What you know about the perfectly designed? It's crazy. They spent all this money designing this car, and then it just, like, the end user is me. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, like, this fucking Japanese dude staring at blueprints like, oh, do we make this yeah, better? Yeah, And then, like, 25 years later, it's just... Us <laughs> sliding around, being like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 some, guy, some guy who used to work on planes in the Second World War. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like Japanese died. dude, yeah. Literally, people died to make this car. Yeah, like, dude, we should wake those homeless people up. Yeah, dude, dump the clutch and wake up these crackheads. <laughs> oh my god, guys, welcome to Radio Ridley Radio. I'm your host, Michael Ridley. I am fucking tired. God, it's a little toasty in the studio today. 
I did have, yeah, the ghost energy is gone. I got fucking, I got bit, dude. I was trimming my dog's nails oh. and he fucking got my ass. Look at this cartoony ass bite mark I got. They can't see it. Oh, okay. Well, it's I have like individual teeth marks from it's my dog. It's a good bite mark. God. God, dude, it's brutal. Yeah, it hurts. Like I'm, I'm injured. It's incredible. My friggin' dog, man. I don't know. He just woke up and he was in a bad mood. He's never bit me. He's never bit me while I was trimming his nails. He's like nipped at me, like, hey, chill. He just gets scared. The pressure of the nail trimming freaks him out. And I'm like, dude, you're fine. But if I don't cut him, he's too old, you yeah. know? If I don't cut him, he's too old and he has arthritis. So I have to do it. That's a shit. He fucking got you, huh? Yeah, he got my ass, dude. He's a fucking, he's a sweet boy. He's a good dog. It's just, he hates his nails getting trimmed. I like how there's no, there's no non Looney Tunes way to get bit. It's very, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's always like it'd be like if every time you got into a fight, you had a cartoonishly black eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I can't I can't hold it anymore, but I'm gonna go in greater detail. We were fucking driving in the Miata. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. It's all I'm thinking about. I gotta get it out. <laughs> I, I have a new sworn enemy, and it's fucking cyclists. And uh, we're driving behind this guy. I see him. We're driving behind this guy, and I see him. I'm like, yo, there's like a whole bike lane. He's like in the street. He's in the street, and I pull up next to him. And I get, like, right up behind him, and then we end up meeting at a stoplight. And uh, he looks into my window. So I roll down my window to talk to him. And it's funny because we're listening to uh, we're listening to Rave Girl by Bass Hunter. Yeah, yeah, dot <laughs> She's, a. My, dot a. she's <laughs> my little rave girl. And my little name, dee -dee. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it down. I roll the window down. And this guy is, like, uh, it's funny because he's, like, foreign, too. And he, <laughs> he goes, did you know I can juice? I can choose uh, whatever part of the road I want, right? Yeah. And I just look out the window and I go, yeah, then uh, stay in the fucking bike lane then. <laughs> stay in the fucking bike lane then, you agate. <laughs> and, and then I dump the clutch and fucking <laughs> so skirt funny. up. He, he immediately knew. You know what's funny about that is he's so used to a confrontation. Yeah. Is that he had the line ready. He had the, you didn't shock him by being mad. No. He was like, you know I can do this. It's like, yeah, you can. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't know. It just made me really mad. It did make me mad because it's the entitlement of the bike lane people. It's like this whole city is like, if you go by my house, if you go by my apartment, the roads are all covered in fucking. It's it's just the roads suck. The roads are horrible, and then uh, but they have a fresh new bike lane. The bike lane is brand new. Like they're just they're yeah. they're it's like yeah, they're the, updating the, everything but the fucking roads. Yeah, the the city. It was uh, Darian told me a couple years ago they did. Uh, Austin's like the most one of the most bikeable cities in the U.S. now because a few years ago they did a huge project. They spent like millions of dollars making the bike lanes. Yeah, and then this dude bikes on the road and gets mad. I dude, I really. That's what pissed me off. You should I get know. jumped doing that. Honestly, <laughs> you yeah. really should get jumped. He gets mad at me. He's like, I, you know, I can use the road. I'm like, yeah, but the city spent all this money for you guys to have bike lanes, and the roads are in such shitty condition. Use the fucking bike. Also, lane. try to argue with me in spandex. Yeah. Also, try to argue, <laughs> in a in a dude. He was in a he was in the suit. Like he was a he wasn't like a dude commuting. He was a fucking you know. I'm doing this because this is my hobby. And, yeah. I, and I, I have two hobbies, riding a bike and being a fucking bitch. Yeah. Being a fucking dickhead. Biking is cool, but also biking to nowhere is super gay. Yeah. I always hate to, like, biking with no destination. Yeah, I use, I use a bike to get around because my car is broken, but right. I don't know. I always wonder if those guys, like, bring a change of clothes and, they, like, they, they get done with their day at work and then change... And then they're walking out of work like, I'll see you guys later. And they're like in their gay spandex. Dude, it's, it's <laughs> the gayest. It's the only It's the only sport where you could be so You could be so good at it and you're still kind of, it's just the fruitiest looking thing. Yeah, some, it, let's go back to I love the, love the hobby, hate the people. That's, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, the yeah. perfect example of that where I'm just like, it's so funny because that guy is pretty gay, right? The, the cyclist. <laughs> pretty gay guy mm -hmm. but like <laughs> i'm in a miata and the only person who's gayer than me is that guy yeah. <laughs> so it was like Dude. a perfect like life cycle it was a perfect like fucking uh what is it called the what is it called the food chain of gayness yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it was like the perfect food chain of gayness like miata driver with his buddy Dude. eats the guy on Dude, a bike two <laughs> two dudes in a miata listening to dota <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mean it, don't that. Get the fuck off the bike. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> is yeah, we're the only two guys. He's the only gayer guy on earth <coughs> compared to us. Yeah, it, it's, it's just it's just the image of like two dudes in a Miata at a stoplight getting in a verbal confrontation with a guy on a bike in spandex. <laughs> I just thought yeah, but also, so also the Miata is the smallest car ever. So if you if we don't have enough room. For me, yeah, and yeah. He, the thing is, is he wasn't making any room. He's in the middle of the lane. Yeah. It's not like he was a quarter over. Like he was in the dude, middle. He was annoying. It was so fucking annoying to do that. I could see him. I could see him like a quarter I bet mile you know away. What he does. I bet that's his thing. Yeah, he I bet. Like, I bet no. He does that all day, and he gets into like three or four confrontations, and he goes home and he jerks off about it. Yeah, he stares in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And like uh, jerks off under the spandex, and then he like jizzes through it. Yeah, and he goes. You know, I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> you, know what you know I can do this. Here. He just goes over his lines. I can it, use any part of the road. I can use any. It's dude. It made me so mad. That yeah. Well, the the fact that the city has made so many like it's dude, the bike lanes are nicer than the actual roads. And I'm like, dude, just use them. Dude, use them. Dude, also good on you for confronting him. Yeah, he needed a check. That, that guy needed that. a check, bro. Love checking, dudes. That I've guy been needed a check. Spazzing lately, dude. I've been fucking. I have no patience anymore. I'm losing. I'm losing. When I when I first came here, I was kind of chill. I was really nice. I'm still pretty nice for the most part, but like I spazzed on a lady who asked me for a pen downtown. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, what happened? Middle school spazzed on her. I was uh, I was walking from, I was walking from the gym to Creek, and mm-hmm. this lady. Who was she was helping a homeless person. She wasn't homeless. She but mm-hmm. she she was like this white lady with purple hair. Ugh. And she was really frantic. No, oh, no. And I'm like, You're not from here. I don't know what Right. They got tourists come in and they get trapped in mm-hmm. the in the tricks mm-hmm. of the of the of the street people. <laughs> but she asked me, she's just like, Do you have a pen? And I politely said no, like really nicely the first time. I said, No, I don't have a pen. Sorry, I did this thing. You know, every time someone asks you for something downtown, you go, sorry. Yeah. And she looked at me, like, straight, like, and she goes, oh, in that whole bag, you don't have a pen? In that oh, whole backpack? Oh, my God. Oh, so, in the whole bag, you don't have a pen? So she, now, like, shook so her now head you, at me. So now you're asking me to basically dump my entire inventory so you can help this homeless person because you're a self-righteous yeah. liberal retard? Also, also, my pen. Also, the second I give it to her, not taking it back. There's like so many factors. I need that. It's like I get it. I could have just given her the pen. I understand. Right. But the second she went, "Oh, really? You don't have a?" And I looked at, went, "No, I don't." Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, and, and then she like looked at me, and I literally, I literally, to a woman, to a woman, I've never, to a woman, I've never met in my entire life, just a lady. I went, <laughs> and her friends, <laughs> her friends, her friends are standing over there, and they're like, they're like embarrassed. Yeah. And, and then she. Uh, lady, I never would have thought a lady with purple hair. She went Duh, back and then called me an agate. No way. She went. She went. Duh, you fucking agate. And then uh. I, and it, I scream laughed. And then she, <laughs> and then she scream laughed. Uh-huh. And we both walked away. Nice. That was it. But so, I'm I'm starting to like. So what? You got her to break her liberal code? No, she did like a. She did like a. She raised the stakes. You ever you ever she get in an argument with a girl and they laugh, but I'm like, oh, you're crazy. It's not. She didn't think it was funny. Oh, she's she, doing the crazy girl she laugh. She got. She was like crazy. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, oh, but yeah, no. just. A, I'm starting to snap, dude. Because a lady I've never met in my life, I literally looked at her in the face, do you do? like a thing you only do to your roommates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're having a roommate argument in public. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. The lady, I just, dude. I'm starting to. I'm starting to like. I don't know, man. I had it happen. Um. Uh, it's just been recently. The dude who tried to rob me, I did the same thing. I fucking swung on him immediately. Oh, when did this happen? This was like uh, a year ago. Oh, God. No, not even. Not even. Somebody like tried to rob you here? Someone tried to rob me at a bus stop here. I was sitting. Of what? That's what I'm saying. I had like an iPhone 8. And your grandma's chain? Yeah. Did you have that? Gra- my grandmama got me this chain? <laughs> yeah. That is a fucking Friday ass chain. Yeah, dude. It is a, it's a really old chain. Did your grandma get you that? My dad did. Oh, yeah. See? When I was like a toddler. Oh yeah, they cool. Uh, uh, yeah, and I'd wear it to school, and it was like a rapper chain on me because I yeah, was little. Little, and the kids are like, "Is that like the teachers were like, is that real gold? Like you shouldn't send your toddler to school with real gold." Uh, yeah, rap me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the last time you get. I feel like me and you both get in confrontations. Like it's been. I've been in. I've been in a safe stretch. Well, but for a second, ca- it was like every day, dude. 
Well, it's because people, uh, people just assume, you know, people size us up, you know. Mm. You're a short guy. I'm an Asian guy. I'm eating wafers. Yeah, you're eating wafers. You have a nitro cold brew. What the <laughs> fuck? I was, to be fair, the dude who tried to rob me, I was sitting with my legs crossed. No, oh, no. I was sitting like this in a linen jacket playing chess on my phone. Incredible. <laughs> I think the dude was like, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you could have been dressed like fucking a uh, Curious as George's handler with a newspaper. Yeah. Just fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just because I'm dressed like this. Yeah. Just because I'm dressed this way <laughs> yeah. does not mean I act that way. Yeah. Yeah. I but yeah, know. he just tried to he just tried to get my phone from me, and the way it played out, he lean he like fucking tried to punk me out, and mm. when he leaned in to try to punk me out, I swung on him. Did you get him? Connect? No. No, no. I was so close. So. Because mm. I had to hit him. I was standing. Or I was sitting at a. On the bench at mm. the bus stop. And so to hit a dude to stand up and it has so much movement. And we're both fucking, our adrenalines are both. Mm-hmm. He's so you like, gotta take a deep breath and make a decision. Yeah. You no, know. I didn't, it wasn't, it was a weird thing. It was just like, I knew. Yeah. I just had that, like, he's gonna hit me if I don't hit him. Yeah. And if, I, I fucking swung up like this and if you would have been wearing a hat, I would have hit the hat. Like, mm. that's about, I missed by the distance of my hand. Mm-hmm. And then. Violence is, violence is necessary. Super necessary. And I don't want, I don't want, you'll never convince me that it's not. Especially in such a pacified, this pacified world that we live in. It's just, that's kind of the, there's, there's truth to good times make weak men. Because here's the thing, man. Good times make weak men. That doesn't mean that there aren't fucking nefarious villains amongst you. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, just because most of the people are good doesn't mean that you don't have to defend yourself from those fuckers. There's still fuckers out there. There's a lot of fuckers. There's a lot of fuckers out there, despite, like, the the world is the most peaceful it's ever been. Despite all the war, despite all the death, this is the safest Earth has ever been. Yeah. Like, as far as human existence goes. But we still have that primal desire for violence. That's why people fight on the internet. Yeah. That's why people fucking and it's so funny, like the modern day equivalent of a uh like the modern day equivalent of like um a battle is like <laughs> two people yelling at each other like On this. Twitter. Just two people yelling at each other like <laughs> yeah, this dude, it's in public. So annoying. And then they and then they make their own it, it, each person is making their own narrative so yeah. that when they post it online they look like they're righteous when in the reality is you guys are just two dumbasses who don't have like common courtesy or Spatial awareness. And people get caught doing it now. I think you could get away with it yeah. back in the day. But, yeah, I saw this video of a of a dude, like, definitely egging a dude on and making a situation. And then the dude got mad, and he pulled his phone out, and he's like, this guy's racist. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, it's... The phone thing is fucking... I want to smack know. a phone out of somebody's hand. Oh, dude, I do, I do it with my friends. But, like, to actually do it to someone would be, would be great. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit pause real quick. Can we hit pause? You're listening to the R3 podcast. You know we got a sponsor on the show. You know, and I bring them to Banana Phone at the Creek in the Cave every ten every Sunday at 10 p.m. You'll catch me with a dick laser, and it's a little laser pointer <laughs> where I shine a dick on people, and it's it's the funniest fucking thing ever. And if you guys want to get one, um, go to DickLasers.com. <laughs> use promo code Sweaty for 10 percent off at checkout. And that's you're laughing, but this is real. Like, I know. I know. I'm actually sponsored by a dick shaped laser pointer. It's company. so funny. <laughs> it's like Very I know, funny. but you that's a you know that's the first time any human has said the sentence you just said. Right? Yeah, I know. It's yeah. it's a quintessential it's, awesome. it's a quintessential like, oh, Ridley's first sponsor is a company that makes dick shaped laser pointers. Also just out of content, yo, go to dicklasers.com, promo code sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's an unreal sentence. I know. I never thought I would say that. That's so sick. You go back in time 10 years and you're like, yo, uh, Michael, so I know you just started comedy, but keep going. One day you're going to get sponsored by a company that makes dick shaped laser pointers. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, what? Uh-huh. I got to go. The portal's closing. <laughs> I got it. All right, buddy. Keep going. Bye. Just I love keep you. going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Portal's like, all right, dude, you're just keep going. Through. <laughs> Trust the process. August fourth, you're gonna shoot your pants. <laughs> <laughs> August fourth, twenty twenty four. Bring another pair of draws. Bye. Bye. It's the R three podcast. There All it right. is. There it is. Dude, it was just like a fucking this in my ass the whole time we were recording. I had just a.
I just had a ball of gas in yeah. my ass. Yeah, maybe it's. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because you. <laughs> You're blowing your heart away. I've never seen anyone do that in my life. <clears throat> that's such a funny I'm move. Still rolling. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bro, that's such a funny move to fart. I've never seen someone blow it away. Do we start back at the fart? We start back at the fart and keep the fart. Oh God. Do we keep the? Do we keep? You know. You know what? You know. You should. You should cut. (laughs) So funny. Yeah. Start right at the fart. Yeah. (laughs) Cut back at the fart. Sorry, guys. I I had to hit pause there for a second, bro. It's it's been a while. I know it's been seven days, and I had to fart. And I just, uh, you know, it was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can, I was doing, like, we're, like, 20 minutes into the pod. And I'm fucking like, yo, why the fuck is my booty hole, like, <laughs> bro, I just had, like, a golf ball of gas in my ass. Like, a perfect sphere of gas. And I'm like, yo, do I have to shit? <laughs> it's crazy, like, yo, do you do you get diarrhea? Not really, man. Not for really? As much for the shit How I old eat. Are you? Yeah, exactly. How old are you? 24. All right, dude. Give us six years and call me back. Because right. uh, ever since I turned 30, I'm going to tell you right now, dude, being your 30s, you unlock like a new thing. You get, you get two things. Age 30, you get knee pain. And then age mm. 31, my, your butthole, you get an update. Your butthole gets a patch. Yeah, your butthole gets a. Your butthole gets an update where now um, your, uh, your ability to hold your shit in your ass yeah. is now dictated by... A Tony Hawk's Pro Skater balance meter. (laughs) And every day of my life, I'm just trying to keep that thing in the middle. And the longer I go, the harder and more fucking, the the harder it is to maintain that. And sometimes your boy, you you fall over and you poop your pants. It happens. Like about, I'm at like one. When's the last time you shit your pants? Uh, August 3rd. (laughs) That's crazy to have a date. August 3rd. Because I can remember, but I did the date. That's funny. Well, because I fucking, I go once a month. Once a oh, month, yeah. I'll shit my pants. I'm due. It's August. It's August 28th. <laughs> Once so. a month, huh? Once a month. 12 shits a year? 12 shit your pants a year. Bro, that's a lot. Huh? I go through a lot of draws. I go through a lot of draws, and it sucks. I knew there was something off. I was like, what? What? There's something off. And we didn't turn the logo every, on. Every time I shit the my TV pants, I don't know if you've off. ever... It's the most humbling thing. What? Shitting your pants is the most humbling thing you can oh, do. Oh, dude, I almost even. shit my pants on stage at Mothership. I almost did a mother shit. Mother I shit. held it in. I was holding it in. My dude on stage. Yeah, imagine oh, yeah, being yeah, on stage yeah, at the mothership, and my balance meter is like going left and right, and I'm killing. Doing I was good. killing the open mic. Yeah, this was like back in May. That's so funny. It's fucking brutal, dude. I I don't know what the fuck has happened to my butthole, dude. I don't even eat crazy shit anymore. I don't even eat, dude. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what the, yeah, that's my b hole looks just like that. I'm just whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Just left and right, left and right. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It's just been, um... No, I got full control of my assholes. That's incredible. Dude. I'm a young man, I guess. That's incredible. I I, had, I I got a little bit of knee pain the last week, though. Mm, it went away. Mm, but yeah. I was like, I remember it scared me. I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck this it, is... This is the beginning of the end. It's creeping in. Yeah. It's so bad. I don't... My fucking, uh... I don't know, dude. My fucking, uh... Just... It's just once a month. I had to check my phone. I just <laughs> shit my pants. was like, all right. August 3rd. All right, cool. Because <laughs> I'm trying to plan. I'm like, all right, dude, uh, September 3rd. All right. Just have a day free. My wife's birthday is that weekend. I'm like, oh, I can't, shit my, I can't shit my pants. My wife's birthday. Happy it's birthday, honey. Good. We have to go home now. Why? Yeah. Stop asking questions. That's divorce, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, she knows I poop my pants. She knows, dude. It sucks, what a nice man. lady. I know, dude. She's, she's the greatest. She's That's so patient best. and so understanding, and she's like... Oh, make sure you get... Uh, she'll, like, bring me underwear. Oh, that's so cool. I'll be in there. I'm like, it happened. That. It happened. What? Hey, I need, anyone listening? Need that, dude. Yeah, get you, a, get you a shorty that'll bring you some draws. Yeah, dude. When you saw your draws. Get you a shorty. Get you some crisp, fresh yeah. draws. Last make, thing you need, imagine imagine you're having a... You literally shit your pants. You're having a crisis. <laughs> and a lady's like, are you fucking serious? Like, she's bitching at you. <laughs> uh, really? Like, dude, I can't... I don't need... There's already poop in my pants. You're meeting my grandmother today. Yeah, she shit herself too. You did this on purpose so you wouldn't have to meet her. Like no, no, I I just ate. I just had a nacho cheese from Seven <laughs> Eleven. The, the, the nacho cheese. I, I had a. Just chi- imagine shitting your pants. It's like my mom was right about you. Like, oh what are you God. talking about? I <laughs> poop myself. Fucking shitty booty boy. She told me not to marry you. You <laughs> shitty booty boy. 
My mother, she told me, she yeah. sat me down the week that I brought you home. The week I brought you home, she sat me down. She said, he's a shitty booty boy, and I can I can smell him from here. This girl called me fart boy over text the other oh, day. Oh, my God. That was pretty funny. Fart boy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you fart in front of her? No, I can't remember what the fuck, how it happened, but she just started calling me fart boy. <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, go ahead, fart boy. It was the whole thing. I, uh... One time I ordered a BLT. I'm like 20. <laughs> I wonder 20, how this story is going to end. <laughs> I'm 26 or 27 years old. I ordered a BLT. I get the check back. Yeah. The server put me down as BLT kid on the that's receipt. Funny. I was livid. How old were you? I was mad. I was like 27. Oh, that's fucking upsetting. And this girl, is the server is like 16. She just was like BLT kid. Pretty funny, though. No. No? Angry. I would love that. $17, do- $17 for a BLT kid. No, that would make me happy. That would be a blessing. I'd keep the receipt. <laughs> like, I'm fucking BLT kid. That shit pissed me the fuck off. Billy the BLT kid. You got any trauma you want to talk about? You want to go in the trauma zone? Oh, the trauma zone? Yeah, dude. welcome Ooh. to the Radio Ridley Radio trauma zone. We do this every episode. Well, it's because you're so funny, and I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> you're a funny guy, and I'm trying to figure out why. Shit, dude. The trauma zone. You can come back to it. You want to talk about roast battle? Uh, we had a pretty good weekend, dude. We had an amazing weekend. Of roast comedy. battle was a crazy like. That was one of the most fun roasts I've ever done in my life. Yeah, I'm exhausted. This guys, you might I'm be wondering so why I'm so thankful. fucking. You guys might be wondering why I'm so tired. I did fucking si- Friday. I did four spots and then I closed it out with a roast battle and I won. Me and Nick both won our roast battles on yeah. Friday. That shit yeah. was incredible. Yeah, Ridley had like a fucking dog fight. It was in- yeah. Yours, Ridley. yours was like, yours was like. Like watching somebody, it was like that scene in the prison when the, the, the prison movie where the guy's getting boo food. <laughs> it was just kind of like, oh man, I want to turn it off, but I can't stop watching. That's what your roast battle was like. Taylor was there. Yeah. Oh, you were there. It was absolute domination from from uh, from Nick V. <clears throat> Ridley's was close. Ridley's was like one of those championship fights that you're like, man, that was that it was, was a grind. Good. It was a grind. It was good all the way through. It was five rounds by decision. Yeah. yeah. But. It was clear who went got to it. the judges. Went to the yeah. Well, yeah. It was it was a photo finish. Yeah. But yours was just you got you got out. And I think he tried to slip something in on you, like at the like before the buzzer maybe before the bell, and then it just didn't hit. And then you uh, it was actually the other way around. Oh, it was okay. okay. I try I tried to do like a friendly like haha. We both look like we're in the civil war, mm-hmm. and that yeah. completely bombed. Ouch. And then his first joke went nuts. That's how it started. Yeah. And then he picked on, he s- tried to say something about having, about having a car. He made a car joke, and that's what set you off on your <laughs> absolute. That's like, you know, in a fight where, like, some guy's winning, and then the other guy just gets tagged, and then they follow him down and just punch him, and yeah. he's, like, fall, you know, up against the cage. That's that was what you were doing to poor Billy. Dude, story. it was so fun. I'm so thankful for how that went. That was, like, oh, dude. Such a fun, yeah, because he was, uh... He tried to make fun of me for something. Yeah, it was something about my car yeah. or something about me, like a car seat, like a short guy joke. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, he said, <laughs> I can't remember what the. <laughs> I remember now. I remember. And his he, jokes weren't bad. He said, uh, You're the only person I know who's got a car seat in the driver's seat or something like yeah, that. Something that was like pretty that. good. That's it pretty good. Something like that. Yeah. A car seat in the driver's seat would be crazy, though. Like, okay. you're like, you get in your Uber and you just see, like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. That was a, the equivalent of him hitting you with his small jab while leaving his he- his hand down, and then you get, basically head kicked him right there, dude. Yeah, don't you don't you take the bus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the whole crowd was like, oh. <laughs> what just, an amazing just, crowd for just Rose brought battle. it to real life. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to Darian Irwin who both pulled us aside and was like, just do banana phone. Yeah, this isn't a roast battle. Just do go well, banana phone. Mode. People people forget the roast battle thing. Uh People do it like they just they like remember how British people used to do wars? Yeah. They're like, you shoot and then I shoot and then you shoot, and then Americans were like, nah, I'm gonna hide in this tree. Yeah. And they were like, what? And they lost to farmers. Yeah. That's that's how we do roast battle in Austin. Well, because it's not as formal as the other videos. I don't want Austin, it to be. Yeah. You know? Austin roast battle is more like uh it's just live and visceral. It's an and- argument. Yeah, it's <laughs> I mean, real. I have jokes, but, like, really, I'm going to, like, yeah. yeah. Dumbass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking look at this retard. Yeah, I told him he smelled like shit. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm like, you guys can't tell from down there, but he smells really bad. <laughs> like, I, went up against, I went up against Mike Eaton, and I said, uh, Mike Eaton looks like he's on a diet, a uh, fake diet he made up himself. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just supposed to eat mayo for the next 30 days. <laughs> I did his voice and shit. God damn. It. Mike Eaton looks like a snowman, dude. Yeah. Someone said it about him one time, and now every time I see him, I can't unsee it. Well, that's crazy. You can, like, Google Mike Eaton. That's crazy. That we can, like, Google most of the Austin comics, and they pull up on That's him. pretty cool. That's sick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I don't love, think I'm Googleable yet. I don't think I love, No, you are. You I type can, it in, it's yeah. my podcast shows Is it really? Up. Yeah, my, yeah oh. R3 shows up. And it's the fucking Scottish guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Scottish guy. Clip the clip. I Google myself a lot to see if, you know, SEO yeah. is working. Oh, there's it him with Louie, dude. When there's him with Louie down there. What? I've seen that picture. Oh, yeah, a lot. the picture he, of him. Yeah, when he opened for Louie. Yeah, he Mike Eaton's Louis. very good. He's it was a super funny guy. He's a super funny guy, and he's really good at roast battle. And my record with roast battle sucks. I'm like one and eight. But mm-hmm. I would like I always get edged out by one last joke, and they said one last joke, and I was just like, for the first time doing roast battle, I was like, fuck it, who cares? I got one more. Yeah. And I, I fucking, dude, I was out, but I remember a joke that me and Mumford wrote, and it was fucking, uh, I was like, yo, if you're here, who's putting a girl that's way too drunk in their car? I heard that. <laughs> and then it fucking. I heard, I heard that one go crazy. I laughed in the green room. I didn't think it was going to hit that hard. I was like, fuck it. I just said no, it No, because he looks like that. <laughs> that's the thing is he looks, imagining him doing that is so funny. Funny. He's just All right, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pussy time. Come on. You said you wanted this. We were uh, we were both on Mike Eaton's <laughs> podcast. Uh, go check that out. Love Mike, dude. Love Mike. He's great. Mike's uh, Mike's you know what I like about Mike is that there's there seems to be different kind of fat people. Mm-hmm. And he's jolly. The jolly fat guy is always cool. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. You don't wanna you don't wanna go up uh it, it, you know do you know what the inverse of Mike Eaton is? <laughs> Our friend Darian. I was just gonna say, I was <laughs> just gonna say I don't want to meet him. I'm roasting but him. I've, I've never seen I've never seen a fat dude that also looks like he's malnutritioned at the same time. <laughs> it's like crazy. Yeah, I'm roasting him tomorrow, and I haven't written a single thing. We oh, should you probably don't need to. yeah pull up some pictures of Darian. That motherfucker we'll, shaped like a teardrop. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say let's write let's uh let's pull up some pictures. You know, one thing I've d- I did I did the tray, and I think this will work on. There any, any fat guy. Yeah. But I I've uh, lost a tray, dude. I drew I drew a picture of a circle mm-hmm. and I wrote the enemy. Oh yeah. And I think so I saw they, you yeah, do that. When they yeah. say, when they're like one more joke, I'm like, I have this and I showed the crowd. <laughs> like, there's Darian. Darian. Sometimes I will admit to Darian's credit, sometimes he's looking fucking stellar. Yeah. Looking dude. Darian at Darian underscore comedy. Go follow him. It's my friend, fat. Yeah. He used to be, <laughs> it's bro. Crazy he that, used to be huge. That's crazy that <laughs> you could a just picture of fat. You could just Google. Look at him, there. dude. Look at him there. That's his profile picture on Instagram. Yeah. It's crazy that you could just Google Darian's name and then there's a picture of him with fat. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, that's so fucking it's funny. Like so funny. funny. There's a roast battle with him. Oh, it's Jam in the Van. Jam in the Van. Yeah, he's there's done a lot of good roast battles. Him and Nick Scott. Dan look at Nolan. that one. Look at that picture of him in Los Digits. Shout out Los Digits from LA roast battle. I don't know if he's still doing it. It's uh, right up there. <laughs> right to the left. Yep, there he was big there. I like the crown. Oh yeah, that kind of looks. That, looks that guy, that Los Digits guy, he's just like a fucking. He's like a. Uh, he's a cholo, but he'll go on roast battle, and he wears like a fucking. He wears a ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> Roasting a Mexican dude in a ski mask with sunglasses. It's crazy. <laughs> he's mad funny. The Los. Digis. He's good at it. Darian. God. Darian rules, dude. Love da- that dude. Darian, Darian, Darian. Darian's funny. He'll come home. He's like, he's like classic. It's like classic. I never had a brother, but this is what I imagine. Having a brother would be kind of like, yeah, because yeah, he's, he's like a- fucking faggot, retard. Do you want something to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> like he'll just like berate me, and then he's like, "Yo, I'm making turkey. Do you want some?" I'm like, "Yeah." Dude. Darian has the face that looks like it should be attached to some sort of like mo- mode of transportation. A train, the front yeah, of a train. Yeah, the front of a train. Like, yeah. Darian looks like a fucking Thomas the Train <laughs> tank engine. Yeah. Or like a J.J. the Jet Plane character. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just his face attached to the front of a biplane would yeah. be funny yeah, as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, I want to Photoshop that last Bro, photo if you on can this. go print... Print... <laughs> Print that out and bring it to the roast battle. I'm gonna be bring like Exhibit A, <laughs> dude. Uh, I've never uh, seen JJ the Jet Plane and Darian Irwin in the same room. So <laughs> funny, so funny. I gotta write that down. That's good. Yeah, him like wanting to be JJ the Jet Plane, but he was too heavy. So <laughs> <laughs> right there, the yellow thing, the helicopter. Look, click the. <laughs> oh, 
looks dirty. <laughs> Bro, who That's the fuck? Okay, the, that one, that one also, right what there. a fucked up, like... <laughs> What fucked up nightmare fuel this show is. I can't believe this was a real show for... The CGI from the early 90s is like... The early 2000s, early 90s CGI, it is nightmare fuel. It's a it's really... PS1 graphics, that shit. God, it's so on... It's just so... And then they're like, why does my kid have anxiety? Because yeah. you fucking showed him that for 10 that hours. Shit. God damn it. Yeah, dude. What do you, what do you, what do you want to make? Are you making dude. it in real time right now? That's incredible. That's oh, so yeah. funny. All the... All of our... Uh, all of our beautiful thumbnails. Yeah, you you guys, uh, I will say, production value on this. Taylor does a great job. Dude. He it's does. It's fucking amazing. And He's actually, still- I remember waking up today, and I'm fucking, I'm breaking out on my head, and I was mad, and I'm like, I'm like you guys' just cameras are so fucking good. Yeah. I'm almost sweating my ass off. <laughs> right. I can't do anything about that. I'm no, mad. I know, I know, but it's like, it's such, beef, it's beef such tallow, good dude. quality. Rub beef tallow all over yourself. That's what someone, I heard that the other day. What, beef like, tallow? I, I've done so much shit. I was on... I was on the pills in high school. I was uh, on the fucking, Accutane? Yeah. Well, not Accutane. The, it was like right before that. They're like, we don't want to hit you with the Accutane proactive yet. Proactive or whatever. Oh, God. I've done the proactive. I've done the fucking... <laughs> dude. The <laughs> proactive the commercials proactive. are crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. The front facing I would use one. the plane. I would use the plane if, we're, if it's for the crowd. Yeah. You get the idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it kind of, yeah, like, it makes sense, like, you're a helicopter. Gay, gay, the jet plane. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Got his ass. Dude, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sweating my ass off. I'm having, like, hot flashes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, probably because you almost got into a fight on the way here, and then you vaping. <laughs> and nicotine, like <laughs> You got crazy. vape nicotine, lip nicotine, and then whatever the fuck that thing is. You what? haven't eaten today? Nothing? <clears throat> no, I haven't. <laughs> I feel so bad. You sound like you sound like him. You're like, I fucking feel bad. I'm like, no, what'd you do? Dude, Ketamine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got pissed in my closet. <laughs> oh yeah, Taylor, you wanna tell them what happened? No. No. <laughs> no. Taylor was like, he pulled me aside at Creek and so he was like, funny. dude, I did a bunch of ketamine and I got so drunk I pissed in my closet. And then he's expecting me to laugh at that. Yeah. I was just like, is this what you do? Is this what you do on Dis- your free time? Disappointed Asian dad. Yeah, yeah, I had to. I was like, this is what you do on your free time, huh? You little mm. friends that come visit town, you start fucking around? Dude, really what about the talk? Whenever I go hmm? do anything that might put me in danger, he gets, I do. I he get. Gets, I get gets, definitely I do, afraid. I do, I do that with my friends too. I feel. I'm, I'm. I swing. I swing towards like. They're like, who oh, we should do? Would this be funny to do a rail right now? I'm no, like, no, don't fucking do drugs. Well, uh, Taylor had some friends in town or whatever, and we're walking back to the car, and uh, they're from Portland, and they're bringing that, like, we're drunk on the streets of Portland energy to 7th Street at fucking 2 in the morning. It's not good. And there's, like, people arguing, and then, like, uh, Taylor's buddies are, like, chiming into the argument, and I pull them aside, and I go, hey, buddy, I don't know about you, but I got a beautiful woman laying in bed waiting for me to get home safely. So I'm going to need you to stop that. <laughs> like, you can't do this shit here. <laughs> you don't, don't interact with these people, brother. Because if you guys get in the fight, I'm going to be straight up. I don't have the energy to defend myself right yeah, now. Also, and I'm going home. You're not from here, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, brother, I'm, a, I'm telling you right now, if you plan on moving here, do not fuck with these people. Everyone who's on the street right now is angry and hasn't gotten pussy. And now yeah. they're just in fight mode. Yeah. That's like yeah. every party town. If you're out, all the dudes out at 2 a.m., guess what? Those guys didn't get pussy, and now they're ready to beat up a stranger. Yeah, yeah. And it's terrifying work. Because you can't fight before pussy. No. So when pussy's eliminated, it's like, now. All right, yeah. <laughs> now I got, what am I going to do with all this jizz in my balls? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to stomp a dude's head yeah. in and kill him. And yeah. then we're not going to get caught because the police have been defunded in Austin. Yeah. And and time marches on. Yeah, also, I'm, I'm traveling in a group of 13. <laughs> Yeah, it always also, makes me so mad. I'm walking alone, and it's 13 black dudes in cowboy boots, and I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> fucking please don't kill me." <laughs> You're shit. walking alone, and it's fucking 27 Edgars all wearing Jordans. Yeah, oh, looking no. angry. I almost got into a fight I didn't with get like any pussy fool. We almost got into a fight outside a creek with like a literal high school, like group of high school Mexicans from San Antonio. Who came to like? Cause, cause every once in a while you're on Sixth Street and you see like kids. I'm like, you're not an adult. It's crazy. I do. I'll just sneak. Yeah. They'll just bring liquor and they're like, the street is a party for them. Yeah. There's so many girls and like whatever. Yeah. They I don't have it. to be in a bar. They can just bring alcohol. Yeah. I get it. I would have done the same fucking thing at at, at <laughs> sixteen or whatever. But 
these uh these three Edgars, dude, Edgar cut and everything. Oh god. Um, we're in front of Creek. Oh god. And they, it started like friendly, but I'm like, dude, these these guys are fucking some kind of. There's like that nefarious energy. Yes, I don't like yes. it. Yes, I'm like, I'm like, you could swing on me. You're being nice to me, but you can't. You like, you want a problem. You're like looking for a. I don't know. It's weird. I know what you. you but know. I'm gonna say this, mind you. I loved, I love Taylor's buddy, but I was like, Taylor's friends. I love them. Yeah. But it was just like the, hey man, this is a warning. I'm warning you because I, you know, I like you and I don't want our friendship. This is a new friendship and I don't want it to be soured by the memory of, oh, you were yapping to these fucking crazy people. And then they initiated, like, I just hear the Skyrim battle music start playing. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> just the fucking the sound when when a dragon is flying around in Skyrim. That's yeah, what every like, time I, I'm like, oh fuck, where's that dude? Yeah, I just see a health it? bar. <laughs> you're just walking downtown, you just see a health bar. You're like, oh no, what? Dude, I, I what has happened? Fucking, what I have I done? Fucking, uh, I had a fucking do -do 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 happen like three three no two days ago. I think I was I was biking home. Uh, yeah, I'm straight uh, you up. Have to, I, you have to paint the picture. Okay, for yeah, all right, we're gonna paint the picture. Yeah, yeah, all right, so you're like. So you're walking downtown Austin with your boys, and they're like, yo, you some guys are like, yo, what's good? And you're like, yo, what's up? We're having a party. It's a good time. And they're like, nah, we're not. Nah, bro. I don't like that. It's yeah. just on the drop of a hat. Yeah, it's very fuck. weird. Yeah, because you're like. You know, you, know the, you know the bad one? What? Is a dude looks at you and he goes, you good? A dude you, oh, you oh yeah, yeah. You're walking with. down. You're walking downtown, and you just you do one of these to somebody. Yeah. Like your path crosses theirs, and you look at them, and they look at you, and you might just have like a stock default I like do, face. I do, I do this every. I go the white purse, lips, head nod. Howdy. And the guy's like, "You good? Yeah. Hey, bro, you good? That one. I had it happen to me fucking recently. <laughs> this guy just asked me if I was good. Hey, hey, what the fuck's your problem, fool? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I think this. Hey, yo. I think that Chinese motherfucker with the mullet talking shit, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, bro. What's really good then, bro? You got a problem, bro? Yeah. Dude, so many times. Just <laughs> <laughs> <And> inventory knife. <laughs> yeah. Cheese, 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 cheese. <laughs> lettuce, 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 lettuce. Yeah. Equip ebony two-handed sword. Just, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Fuck. Fast forward. Hey, that's that motherfucker right there. <laughs> Get his ass, fool. Yeah. Hey, bro, we really about that action. Hey, yo, pa <laughs> yo, hey, yo pause it real quick. Play it right after I say this. Right. Hey, bro, you good? <laughs> find the find the dun. Da -da 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 -da. Ten hours. Yeah. How'd they get it for 10? That's fucking crazy. Who needs this for 10 hours? Us, I don't know. Right now. Incredible. Incredible. But yeah, you guys get it. I had a, I had a fucking Skyrim. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm just going to play. It's going to play in my head every time I have a fucking interaction now. Dum. Dum, 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 dum. It kind of makes it, it makes it easier to handle. Dum. A fight. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> so funny, dude. It's I'd, uh, hard to skip around because it's 10 hours long. I know. It's so hard it's to like, find the exact sound clip that we want. Yeah. It's a 30-second sound. We're literally trying to find an Here, audio uh, needle in the haystack. Yeah, just type it back oh, into the one. search bar, I bet. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's the it. very beginning. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Get uh, Max the volume on it. It's, like, too quiet. <laughs> well, I have the volume right here. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm just trying to get back to my car. Foof. Fire. Foof. <laughs> <laughs> That's me with pepper spray, dude. Yeah. I, it's like, I've been calling pepper spray a fire spell, dude. And it yeah. is like, pepper spray is underrated, dude. All the, a lot of guys, it's like a, we have a mental barrier of like, I can't have pepper spray. That's gay. Mm -hmm. If you had the, uh, dude, it's a fire spell you can have on. Go on Reddit and type in pepper spray. Oh. <laughs> Go on, Reddit. Hey, keep the Skyrim battle music tab open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the keep the Skyrim battle tab open. Now I see this one video on Reddit with this guy pepper spray. Yeah, I'm I, so sure it'll come. I thought up. I was gonna have to get a guy recently, dude. I actually gave my pepper spray away to a fucking girl, which is I kind of regret. But go to Ig, our pepper spray. Wow, 
There's a fucking, oh my god, dude. It's like r slash crack smokers, yeah. but just yeah. pepper spray. All right, go to uh, public freakout. Go to r slash public freakout. Oh, yeah. man. Go to public freakout. Yeah, this that's is, right there. You got it. This is a major dopamine button for yeah, me. Yeah, this is me. All right, now and now search in r public freakout pepper spray. <laughs> dude, I've been, try- I've been trying to not watch reels and shit, avoid memes and Instagram. And yeah. then when something gets pulled up, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. Dude. Man gets pepper sprayed by <laughs> prostitute. Woman pepper sprays guys threatening her with a knife. I love these videos, bro. Wow. Australian, ah, uh, boo. Fuck you. <laughs> Man gets pepper sprayed by prostitute. Yeah, six months ago. That's crazy. Probably just didn't pay her, I'm guessing. Whoa. Not in the CRV, bro. RIP, dude. You paying for pussy with a CRV is crazy work. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> the Skyrim music. The Skyrim music goes hard. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the window going up. Bro, dun, 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 imagine, dun, dun. imagine the uh, the post nut clarity shame of paying for a prostitute. Of, well, one even just just jerking off is already like, ugh. why did I do that? And then prostitute, and then you're in that, and you you're pepper sprayed in your CRV. <laughs> this is funny, <laughs> dude. The music makes this so great. What the fuck? All right, so this guy's pulling out his knife now. A red guard, dude. Classic red guard oh, no. interaction. Oh no. He's yank Oh! Oh! Did, did she get swiped with the knife? No, he picked something up and threw it at her. <laughs> Incredible. Does he get pepper sprayed? She pepper sprayed him as he was at the table trying to yank stuff off. Archive. Oh my god. Yeah. Agitated red guard. <laughs> That's why he threw he threw her phone or wallet in her face. Because she pepper sprayed him. On it's a, crazy. On a fucking BMX bike. It's dude. crazy that th- it's always a BMX. Dude, you see a grown man on a BMX bike. Yeah. That's expect problems, problems yeah. dude. Expect skateboard too, honestly. Skate- I hate, yeah, skateboard kind of. I hate yeah. seeing. I hate seeing women getting assaulted in public like that on videos, and then there's just dudes there. Yeah. God. Dude, I was just. I was just gonna talk. I just stopped the fucking thing on What'd my you way do? home like two days ago. This dude was like, I was coming up the hill on my bike, yeah. and I see this dude like. Kind of pulling this girl around by her hoodie. Oh no! And it looked kind of bad, you know. Oh and no! And he didn't see me at first, but I walked up, and it kind of looked like he hit her. He was far, but I like made sure I got up the hill, and I just kind of made sure I was like, "Yo, I'm here. <laughs> like, what's up?" And he stopped. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here's me, dude, with a bike in my hand, like so not ready to fight. Hey, <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, what do you? Hey, buddy. Yeah. It's like a woman, like, getting fucking assaulted by a giant dude. In comes yeah. four foot nine Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop that. Cease. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, pal. Yeah, Slow just, your fucking roll, dickhead. He, when he saw me, he got embarrassed. Oh, wow. Because it was in the night. Usually, he's like, there's no one around. Yeah. So, he's like, thought he was getting away with something. But when he saw me come up on him, he, like, got embarrassed. And so, he stopped. And he walked, he kind of walked by me with his head down, and I, like, did one of these. <laughs> like, looked right at him. And I stood there, I'm like, you guys good? <laughs> I said it really loud. And neither of them replied. And then she, like, walked out of this little apartment thing next to me. And I just, I talked to her for a little bit and walked her to a gas station. And I was oh, like, no. hey, what the fuck? You all right? Like, that didn't look good. She's like, what did you see? I'm like, nothing good. But I walked her to a gas station, and uh, she's like, yeah, I just met this guy. Whatever. I'm going to go stay at my mom's tonight. Um, Whatever the fuck. But, you know. Yeah, basically, a dude was beating a girl up, and oh, no. I just, like, stood there and eyed him down, and he stopped. Sometimes that's all it takes. Well, he was just, he was, he was like, throwing a fit. He was throwing a, he was throwing a fit, like a tantrum. No pussy fit. Like a t- yeah, like a toddler, and I like stood there and was like, "I'll kill you." <laughs> and he was bigger, he was taller than me, but he was really skinny, super emotional. 
That's the worst. Yeah, that's the real. That's that's. I don't like. Dangerous. Yeah, I feel bad for. I feel bad for the girls that like get tricked into dating that guy. A, a, a six foot two toddler. That's yeah. literally what he was. Just a fucking. And. Uh, oh, give me pussy. Yeah. I want pussy so bad. You won't give it to yeah. me. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, because he was like, pun- <laughs> he was like, he was like punching the fence. And he was all upset. I want pussy yeah. now. How dare you? So dumb. Jesus, bro. Yeah, and then, dude. Yeah, I knew. Uh, I knew a girl that uh, told me a story. She was like, "Yeah, he, if I if I said not now, he'd start crying, <laughs> and then I'd give it to him." <laughs> crying like, is crazy. Crying for Crying's pussy. crazy. Wah. Holy shit, Wah. dude, that's crazy. I want pussy now. Wah. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and you know, hey, guess who I uh, saw her with uh, a day later? Who? Same guy. Oh no. It made me so mad. They don't learn. Sitting. Now. Yeah, I know. That's why I won't like. And a lot of people are like, "We well, should have kicked that guy's ass." I'm like, yeah. "No, because the girl will be back with." I'll stand. I'll stand there and make sure that she doesn't get killed right then. But I know she'll the next day she'll be back with. Yeah, me. yeah. You. This the thing is like. Sometimes you got to be a white knight, but going out of your way to be one is. Not... Nah, I think you have a you have a line where you're like, okay, I'm not gonna watch this happen in front of me. These but people are fucking idiots. People. Because then you realize they're just two dumbasses that are having sex. That's like that's the most dangerous. That's like the da- most dangerous combination. Just two emotional dumbasses. Yeah. That have sex and they don't like. You're obviously neither of you guys are mature enough for a relationship, so you're just always fighting. And then yeah. your neighbors have but to hear it. But you're horny enough to like want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, the, the what I hated was like seeing couples that are just uh, they're always fighting and they're always dragging each other online, and then they're back together on Facebook, and then they break up on Facebook, and then they get back together on Facebook. It's like. Yeah, just just stop. Stop yeah. making it public. I don't care. Yeah, Please stop. I don't care. Stop. I don't care. Stop dragging like both your friend groups into this shit. It's embarrassing. That's, you guys that's are a, also like twenty seven years old. Small town shit. Yeah, that's small town shit. Those small town relationships. Sometimes people do it in big cities, but small town shit is very like, you know, I'm gonna check the jail roster. Ooh, my friend from high school got a DUI. It's like you're forty. Yeah. <laughs> like find something better to do. The the drama online. I remember remember going on Snapchat in high school, and you click on a girl's thing, and it's just a paragraph. Oh, my and God. And she's, I'm like, it's, I'm getting rid of the fakes and the snakes and this fucking, like, you know, throwing shade at. Beef, on, beef online is, we were just talking about that. People don't, like, the war is on the phone now. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you There's, get confident. We have this, well, the thing is, is the world has, the world has advanced farther, uh, faster than our brains can. So yeah. we still have, like, this primal desire for conflict. Because yeah. our, our uh, the human race has survived off of that for so many years. Yeah, you need it's it. thousands of years of conflict and you know fighting and physical physicality and violence, and then now it's like, well, we can just go buy food. Yeah, I don't have to go club a. I don't have to club an Albanian. Yeah, I don't have to club, you know, <laughs> and then and, and we're also like, people, America in itself like shouldn't exist. Like the concept of America, like yeah, all these different races living together and shit yeah. like that. Like our, of course, like it's oh, brand new. And you're trying to force like you're trying to force like this prehistoric like tribal aspect of our brain to like ignore that. Yeah, and it's like, dude, no, this naturally I shouldn't exist. Like I'm fifty percent from the Philippines and then fifty percent. From like Anglo-Saxon, like yeah. those two genetic pools shouldn't exist. Yeah, and I th- I like America. I like interacting with everybody. Oh yeah, I love America and I love the multiculturalism of yeah. it. But I do also understand like it's rampant racism. Brand I understand new. it. Yeah, but it's like if you think of it comparatively, in the last like let's compare the '60s to now. Yeah, it's way better. This yeah. is way better. I'd much rather have. I saw I saw a fucking post the other day. It was about the the. The Olympics in Germany in like thirty six. Yeah, it was Hitler. it was the Nazi one. And Hitler it was, be- was there. Yeah, dude, and and it was before it was before the Nazis. It was funny because there's this period where everyone was hype on the Nazis because they hadn't done anything <laughs> crazy yet. <laughs> They're just like, yo, the economy fucking rules. <laughs> like that's it, he was. Everyone just, was super jazzed to be a Nazi. Back everyone then. was super this jazzed. Is pre pre forty three. They get they, the economy was good. They're like, yo, we're back. <laughs> These guys are getting it together. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they just lost WW one and, and- a, a, a black a black. I can't remember his name. He's super famous, and people are going to drag me for not knowing this. But it was a black sprinter, I think, or yeah. some kind of athlete. Like, he's, he's like, they treated me better in Germany than they did in the U.S. Right. He said in the U.S., to compete in his own events, he'd have to go through the back door 
mm-hmm. of the stadium, and he said, in literal Nazi Germany, they were like, oh, hello, how is it? <laughs> like, they're nice to him. <laughs> and and people like will drag Nazis all day. I'm like, dude, your grandpa was worse than <laughs> literally, literally a dude with a swatch on his arm shook that dude's hand. <laughs> your grandpa called him the n-word in a diner. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it goes on both sides. People love to play that. Yeah, there's yeah. like a. It's funny. It's funny to me because like, it's funny to me because I know shit's so fucking good now that people are just finding shit to complain about. Like I'll take 2024 racism over 1965 racism any day. Any day. Because they do this thing like what when I figured out what um when they coined the term microaggression, I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like yeah. if that if if like a small little like kind of a racially charged comment destroys you, like bro, don't don't leave the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're about to fuck it like let's say I'm about to fuck a chick, right? I'm single. I'm a young Asian man, about to fuck a chick. Very rare. Right? Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> and she says, and she says, uh, oh, it's so big for an Asian guy. And then I go, excuse me? And yeah. I'm like zipping up my pants angrily. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> like, I want to the... make the zipper noise. Zip? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. no, dude, you're going to get, co- you're going to get coochie. What are you talking about? You gonna, yeah. Is that little thing going to. People, people love to, uh. It's like you know you know what I you know what I like is like uh, the people who. It's like the one, you see the banana phone, you see the banana phone where they're like you better not, better not say the one thing, you better not you see you what see, audience you, members no no a dude on sta- a dude on stage will go up on stage with this attitude of like, oof they make a black joke about <laughs> me I'm like, what what do you, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, yeah people get upset about the. Uh, uh, Muhammad Yall uh, made a good point, and he said Muhammad uh, Yall is a uh, he's a he's a comic for, in Austin that his family immigrated from Africa, and he's a very funny guy. Yeah, he's super funny. I'm trying to get him on roast battle. Mm-hmm. He he's got to learn. He's got it, dude. Also, uh, Muhammad's he's like the most humble. Very I'll tell true. him he's funny. He, I, he's like, no, I'm like, yeah, no, you're super. You yell funny shit, but he he made it. He used to hang out with uh, super left people mm. where he was from. They're all like, you know, social justice. Whatever, <laughs> and he said he feels way more at home here because mm-hmm. people bust his balls, and he yeah. said it feels more uncomfortable there because they're like trying to coddle you and tiptoe around. Tiptoe around. It's like, bro, just can I just have a human experience? Take the training wheels off and yeah. stop. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, where I'm from is like I came up with like, dude. At one point in my childhood, uh, I think it was like frozen marshmallows. They had frozen marshmallows. It was winter time. And they were just pelting me with these marshmallows. <laughs> I like I was in the sixth grade. And these yeah. kids in my neighborhood were pelting me with mush, uh, marsh, frozen marshmallows. Yeah, and they were calling me cat eater. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It was like the How meta. Old are you? I was like eleven or twelve. That's sick. And I wanted That's to be a the, formative experience. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I've I've experienced like real racism, and then it was like to them, it was funny, and like I don't know, looking back. Kind of funny. It's really funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but frozen also, marshmallows. Yeah, frozen marshmallows of all things. But yeah, that's that's. I'll take that version of racism versus oh, that guy's talking to white women. Let's kill him. Yeah. And there was this thing. Um, Filipino dudes are actually like in the '60s were pulling mad white bitches. Yeah. Yeah. There was this. Uh, you missed out. No. No, you're no, never. Mind. I'm, you're I'm cashing, cashing in. in. Yeah, you cashed in. I cashed in on that. So about like that. they were. Uh, there were these things called uh, like taxi discos or some shit, and they were like in, in California. A bunch of Filipino dudes came to California in the '60s, and they were just pulling so many white chicks. And the white dudes in the California in the '60s were like, "Hell no," because <laughs> they were like dancers. They were good. They were singers. They were funny. They had yeah. riz. Like Filipino yeah. dudes have riz, and yeah. it's just like that's the only way any Filipino dude gets laid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. like. Hey, how are yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. They're also happy people. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so lucky to be able to speak with you. <laughs> Can I have pussy now? <laughs> yeah. Give me yeah. the pussy, Just please. a girl who's never been treated that good in her yeah, life. Yeah, this is a girl who just gets punched in the face for burning a steak. Yeah. <laughs> And then meanwhile, he's like, I brought you flowers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, blah, 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 just fucking sucking that dude off. And then the white guys are like, how the fuck are they doing this? Yeah. They're like, they're like what, buy, they're, you buying these broads flowers now? Yeah, yeah. 
what was it called? Yeah, the uh, Filipino dudes in the '60s with white women. It was like, a, dude, they were like that's these still taxi, a thing. You'll, you'll taxi still cab disco into, or something. You'll still run into people. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I like. I heard Sam Hyde talk about this. He dated a black girl at one point. Yeah, and he said he'd walk around with her, and like other black dudes would give him this fucking look. Oh, dude. Of like, don't. Do that. Why are you doing this? Yeah, 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 and then those same black dudes will never date that black chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Shout out the boy Bill Burr, dude. Yeah, Bill yeah, Burr. Dude. Yeah, you're. Yeah, he's paving the way for you types yeah, of people. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you types of people. <laughs> well, I mean, no, yeah, yeah. Ginger is one letter away from. It's true. <laughs> it's very true. one two letter swaps away from, <laughs> from gingers. Uh, gingers? <laughs> nah, it's gingers. No, dude, the, the black girls love, love gingers, dude. Black girls love ginger dudes. It's a thing. Black girls like Asian dudes too. Do they? Yeah, like when I was single back in Virginia, it was all like Latino women and and black girls. They they loved me, but it was all the white chicks. I was also southern. Wait, go back, go back one. What happened? The the picture you just had up? That's Tanner Miglio's parents, dude. <laughs> I swear That's to God. That's exactly. I went to their house. Yeah. Just. Sh- Stern, he's like a jujitsu black belt. Oh, sick! Stern Asian guy, like yeah. shook my hand, super cauliflower ear, and then his mom's just the nicest, like yeah, yeah. Tanner Miglio is a, uh, I love that kid. That is he kid doing? Rolls. Have you seen him? Uh, I know he's, I know he's uh active. He seems busy. I, uh, yeah, he's he seems a busy, dude. busy right now. Yeah, I haven't seen him at Mike's. Well, he's got, a, he's so got I a girlfriend worried. he really likes. He's got a job. He's got another. He's got the YMH job. Yeah, that's good. Miglio rules, dude. That's like, dude. I I, I keep him keep him safe. There's yeah, a few literally. people in this town where I where I go. I gotta keep this guy safe in any opportunity. You know the thing with the Miglio too is he's he's a. Uh, I mean, I'm not that much older than him at all or anything. Yeah. But for how young he, he's smart. He's not dumb. No. He's perceptive, and uh, you see, you see. I mean, I'm I'm dumb too because I'm young. So we I see it come out in him and me. But yeah, that kid's gonna fucking. He's a, he's a he's smart. All right. Yeah. I don't know well, what I'm saying. <laughs> but no, Tanner I get, rules, dude. Shout out Tanner. Yeah, guys, go look him up. Yeah. He works for YMH. He is at a pretty funny uh Kill Tony appearance and he's a great has he done Roast Battle before? He just did his first one. Yeah, that's good. He did the funniest uh he did this thing. <laughs> I helped him print the picture out or whatever, but so the dude he was roasting, his dad got the dad uh he got killed by <laughs> he got beat to death by a baseball bat. Lino. Lino. Oh, yeah, yeah, And he yeah. goes, uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate for Lino. Um, I have this picture of his dad the night of the incident. No way. And he pulls a picture out, and it's a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like, demolishes. Like, the whole room was like, no that's the way. Kinda, that's the kind of humor he does. He's, like, silly, like, young, goofy. Yeah. He's, like, you know what I like about Tanner Miglio? Yeah. His comedic prowess is, like, twerp maxing. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a fucking. I'm just and I like major tour, dude. dude yeah. and, and I've noticed this is like I've been doing comedy for a long time, and now I'm starting to see like Gen Z is doing comedy now. Yeah, and like, dude, the young, the younger, like younger white comics or you know, younger white uh, looking comics twerp. I'm just gonna be a little. I'm gonna be a little. I'm gonna be a little brother. Little stinker. I'm gonna be a little stinker, yeah. and people love it. Yeah, Dennis people the love it. Energy. Dennis yeah. the Menace, like I'm gonna yes. be a little twerp. I'm gonna be a little lovable Bart twerp. Simpson shit. Bart Simpson level shit, where it's like, oh, dude, if you were like a little fat guy, we would hate you. But that you're you're just a little cutie, <laughs> being a fucking little yeah. dickhead. Yeah, the, like the 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 juxtaposition of that, the visual of like, oh, this is a nice sweet boy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm a little dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. fucking rules. To yeah, me. he does he does that thing, and he'll do, he'll do that on stage. He's like, you know. He'll have a joke about, like, yeah, my mom took my vape. Fuck. <laughs> and adults love that. Yeah. But then, like, the next thing is, like, hey, nice tits, lady. <laughs> it's, like, the next yeah, thing yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. So it's just, like, shh, 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 yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's roasting you. He's, like, your shoes are old. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Or, uh, or, like, ooh, you look stinky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one always yeah. gets you. Yeah. yeah. In the middle of his roast, the, the dude he was roasting was kind of fatter, and he pulled a carrot out of his pocket. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> the whole place pulling a carrot out handing a carrot to a fat dude in a roast and then he took it the dude took the carrot oh incredible dude he said he pavlov trained lino in the green he kept handing him snacks in the green room and like handing him carrots and shit and so he he planned it for he planned it out so that when he went (laughs) ultra 
sure that when he handed it to him, he took it and put it in his pocket. And as crazy. soon as the roast was over, Darian was like, why would you take the carrot? Why would uh, you? I don't know. I just uh... <laughs> Well, no. That's my Lino impression. He sounds like Stitch, dude. Yeah, he sounds like Stitch and Meatwad mixed together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought, you know, it's a show. I, got I a... love Lino, dude. Lino Rodriguez. He Lino's... had a great, he had some great appearances on Kill Tony as well. Yeah, he's been on. I've watched him. I was in the room when he got pulled, like, the first time at Mothership, and he was just so goofy and likable. Yeah. Like, the material was a little, uh, but, but he's, but he's, but he's like, like, the most ri- likable. Very, he rizzed him. Yeah. He rizzed him. I think Rogan was there, and it was like, yeah, this is crazy. Let's go. It's so crazy watching that show live. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> guys, that ends this uh, freebie GB. Go check us out on the Patreon now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, guys, comment down below anything, any funny quips. Uh, give us some timestamps. Shoot us an email at radioridleyradio at gmail.com. Uh, we love you. See you at the Patreon. Bye bye. Nick, plug your shit first. Oh yeah, Nick, go ahead, plug oh, it. Oh, dude, uh, Instagram at Nick Be Good, uh, and then Banana Phone every Sunday. Shit, that's really about it. Yeah, just follow me on Instagram and come to Banana Phone, dude. That's about it. Love you guys. Bye bye. See you at the Patreon. Yeah. Let's go.